I have before me the Lenovo Yoga Book 9i versus the Lenovo Yoga 9i. Two two-in-one laptops with very different features for different use cases. Now, my channel talks specifically to creative professionals, maybe graphic designers, photographers, videographers, artists, 3D modelers, etc. And that's the perspective I take when looking at laptops. However, if you're a student or you're somebody just using a laptop for regular web browsing, email checking, streaming video, or you're a business owner, this video will be super helpful for you as well. Now, first and foremost, let's dive into the features and functionalities of these two laptops and talk about the benefits of each one. Now, as you can see, of course, the Yoga Book is the dual screen laptop where you get opportunity to use both of these screens. And with eight fingers, you can go ahead and slide down a digital keyboard and trackpad. Really nifty feature, which makes this laptop very on the go friendly without the stand keyboard built-in pen at the back of the stand, as well as a mouse that's all included with this laptop. Now, if you get the straight Yoga 9i, you'll get a pen, you'll get a sleeve, which the pen can slide into, which is super handy for not losing the pen, and you have a nice little carrying case to go along with your laptop. However, you only have one screen for this laptop. I know, shocking, a laptop with one screen. Now that there's laptops with two screens. <laughs> but the Yoga 9i is focused much more on performance. As we're looking at the Photoshop benchmark, this is a tool that we're gonna use for graphic design, photography, and digital art. You can see that the Yoga 9i with the i7-1360p scores an 855, whereas the Yoga Book 9i scores a 587, and that has the i7-1355U. Now it's not just a difference in processor that makes the performance different between these two laptops. You have to consider the fact that you're powering two screens with one processor and no dedicated GPU. So in order to power these two screens, we're using only integrated graphics from the i7-1355U in order to accomplish this feat. Whereas the Yoga 9i with one screen actually has a slightly more powerful processor and it only has to power that one screen, which leaves a lot more room for tasks that are operating within the laptop not just operating the components. And then you try and operate tasks within the laptop and you end up bottlenecking and getting a lower score like this 587 we see here compared to the 855. So if you're somebody who's gonna be using the laptop and you are doing heavy tasks other than just web browsing, checking email and streaming video, I would lean you towards the Yoga 9i based on your use case. However, if you're somebody who's just streaming, video playback, emails, business, then you'll be fine with the yoga book and all the cool custom features that it comes with. Anyone can find anything on the internet, including your full legal name, your personal email, your home address, phone number, and even your relatives. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. We've been using Aura to monitor our personal information online for over a year now and have been able to reclaim control of our personal data. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn more about you. You can use my link by going to aura.com slash Ben G. Kaiser to try a two week free trial to see how many data brokers are sharing your information. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitor, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need all inside one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two week free trial with my link in the video description. If you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of either of these laptops, you can head down in the description below and click those links. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. All right, let's go ahead and use the pen really quickly so I can show you some examples using the pen with this laptop. Now both laptops come with nice, thick, sturdy pens. This is the Yoga 9i. And just for a quick example's sake, I'll show you using this pen inside of the Paint app. You can see it's very responsive, it's not laggy. So it has a great pen to screen touch capability. Now in order to use the pen on the Yoga Book, you just simply reach back here, pull out the pen. I'm gonna pull up Paint real quick. And as you can see, I can just fold back the screen a little bit so y'all can see it and use the pen. And the nice thing about the hinge on the yoga book is it's really stiff. I'm not holding or supporting the screen at all and I'm pushing fairly hard on the screen and it doesn't bend back. So it makes using this laptop with the screen up very easy. So it creates a very nice canvas 
for you to work with. You can even rest your elbow and have a nice support. And so that creates a great use case for artists. However, my big negative with the yoga book is because you're powering two screens, you're gonna have less performance in apps like Photoshop. And therefore, if you have Photoshop files with tons and tons and tons of layers, and I mean hundreds of layers, this computer will definitely lag. Whereas the Yoga 9i will be able to handle that much better. So if you're a light user of Photoshop or InDesign or Illustrator, your digital artist that likes to kind of more dabble, you're a little more entry level, not at the professional level, then this yoga book would be a good pick. However, if you're a professional artist and you do lots of layers, I'd go for the Yoga 9i. Now quickly, let's go ahead and check out some of the features of the yoga book. Then you can go ahead and quickly turn it so you can have side-by-side -side view, use the keyboard, use the mouse or the pen, very handy. You can go ahead and fold it in half and just use one of the screens if you wanna read like on a tablet or you can even still continue to use the drawing tablet in paint with your pen. There's a lot of flexibility with this laptop. However, what I found when kind of starting to overload the laptop is occasionally I would get some like fuzz down on the bottom screen. It would kind of glitch a little bit here and there. Now, I haven't seen that recently. I've updated the laptop a number of times throughout the past three months of having it in my studio, and it definitely seems to be getting better and better. But when I first got the laptop, it had just released, there was definitely some lagginess in the software. I'm seeing that resolve over time, but I don't want to ignore the fact that that did happen when I first had the laptop in my studio. Now they both have this Bowers and Wilkins speaker bar in the middle. I'm gonna give you a quick audio sample of both of those in use so you can hear what they sound like. Now overall, as far as a design standpoint, I love the form factor of these laptops. They have these rounded edges, which are super comfortable to hold in your hand. The speaker actually is at an angle, so it creates a really nice holding position when you're just carrying the laptop around. They're so comfortable and the quality of them yells high quality. So that's one of my favorite things about this Yoga 9i lineup, whether it be the Yoga Book or just the straight Yoga 9i two-in-one laptop, is they're built extremely well. Now, for the Yoga 9i, you have a nice large glass trackpad, has a nice solid click to it, so it's not a dampened click, but it's not this overwhelming, really loud click that you sometimes hear from laptops. And of course, the keyboard is very quiet as well. So whether you're in a school setting with other students around you, or you have coworkers around you in an office, or at a coffee shop, you're not gonna over, you know, stimulate them with a really loud computer, which is a really nice bonus. Now, as far as ports and connectivity are concerned, on the Yoga Book, you have three USB Type C's and a headphone jack. Whereas on the Yoga 9i, you have USB Type C, headphone jack, two USB type C's and a USB type A. So you have an extra port on the Yoga 9i. As far as battery life is concerned, I honestly thought the battery life wouldn't be as good as it turned out for the Yoga Book, but we still had about nine hours of battery life at the best from the Yoga Book. However, there was slightly better battery life being that we're only operating one screen on the Yoga 9i. So if you're looking for overall better battery life, no matter if you want two screens or one screen, the Yoga 9i is gonna be the way to go. Now, as far as the screen quality is concerned, you have a 3K screen from the Yoga 9i and two 2.8K displays from the Yoga Book. Now they both have well over 300 nits of screen brightness, 100% sRGB, 98% Adobe RGB, and 98% DCI P3, all at a Delta E of 0 0.77 and 0 0.75. So both laptops are color accurate and bright. So you got no concerns on either laptop you go to choose. Now, neither of these are going to have any sort of upgrade path as far as storage and RAM is concerned. So if you're looking for a laptop to upgrade post-purchase, that's not gonna be the opportunity here with either of these laptops. What you purchase them with is what they will stay with. Now, comparing these two laptops a little bit more from a performance standpoint, Standpoint, let's look at 4K video editing. If you go ahead and export a nine minute 4K clip out of Premiere Pro, you'll be able to export that clip at four minutes and two seconds from the Yoga 9i. 
If you'd like to do that from the yoga book, it'll take you four minutes and 52 seconds, so about 50 seconds longer. Honestly, not dramatically longer, but it'll definitely be noticeable. If you're looking for a laptop with two displays and tons of extra functionality, the Yoga Book 9i is just the way to go. There's no question about it. However, if you're looking for a laptop with great build quality, great performance, and great battery life, the Yoga 9i is definitely gonna be your choice. The build quality is still great, the battery life is still good, but this just is more of a traditional laptop that'll get you further with your performance needs than the Yoga Book. Much more focused on functionality and features uh, than the 9i. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase. Click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you with your purchasing decision. I'll see you in the next one.